This is the X-ray of the 32-year-old gentleman having a intraarticular dorsal button fracture, and there is a step of more than two millimeter, which we measured on the CT scan, which here I'm not able to show you. And in this, I'm now I'm going to put the dorsal plate, and for that I'm going to take you through the further steps of the surgery. So I'm going to do the surgery with the dorsal approach. First, you have to identify the distal tubercle. Or if you're not able to identify, just on the radial border of the first wave space, and directly incision over the radius. And now we are going to give the incision. And most important thing, we have to protect the superficial branch of radial or ulnar nerve. Okay, so let me expose and then I'll come back to you. You will find some dorsal veins here. So try to protect as much as possible. If not, then you have to sacrifice it. And try to create the flap in which the radial nerve will come in the flap itself. So we have created the flap and now we have to, this is the lister tubercle, I can feel easily and I have given the small nick to identify the EPL tendon and just along the tendon you have to excise the extensor retina column and you can see clearly that the tendon is moving along that, you have to give an incision. So let's expose the EPL tendon and then we'll come back. So also you can check this EPL tendon whether we are in light position or not. Just extend the tendon and you can see the thumb movement. So means this is the we are in the right place. And after this we'll retract the tendon laterally and then we expose the second and fourth dorsal space and then we'll see you back. So this is the EPL tendon and this is the listed tubercle. We have created the two flaps and this you can see the we did the capsulotomy to expose the joints but I'm not finding any too much of the particular incongruency. So we are going to put the T plate now. In the dorsal approach only concern is the irritation of the tendon. So we we'll try to put some top soft tissue in between the tendon and First we are going to put the locking screws, this cortical screw to compress the plate and then we will see you in the CM. Sir, so take the CM please. So I have put the plate now, now we will check on the CM and uh, see the, uh, I think a little bit this, so we will move a little bit distal and uh, we have to localize the position of the plate and then secure the plate with the KOR. So now we have put the two locking screws in the distal and two in the proximal fragment. And this is the equal tendon which we are going to transpose between the Okay. Now you can see in the same way. Can you show me please? See, see. So this is the final picture on the fluoroscopy AP and lateral which the fracture is well aligned. Okay, sir. So we have put the plate now and this is the EPL tendon, we are going to close this, all the dorsal compartment and then we will put the subcutaneous tissue and the skin. So 
this is the dust retina column which I'm going to stitch so that it will not come over the plate and this will reduce the irritation of the plate. The patient will not complain any pain. So now I have put some cushion between the plate and EPL tendon and we are going to put some cutaneous tissue. In the dorsal approach this is the problem because there is chances of the tendon irritation and tendon rupture. So that's why most of the people prefer in the bowler approach. Now we close the skin after this. So now we are closing the skin and we will do the dressing and start immobilizing immediately.